Humanity is obsessed with the idea of immortality. In a mature world, in the context of biology, we have searched for and studied ways to not just avoid death, but prevent it. We are all made of cells, the foundation of what we are. Cells are responsible for our mood, our growth, wound healing, our body's structure and support, energy production, age, reproduction, and converting food to nutrients. That's a lot. So, if our cells are responsible for all these things and make up our bodies, if we could make our cells immortal, we then become immortal, right? Until the year 1961, it was believed that human cells could divide indefinitely, or in other words, we believed our cells could live forever. It was believed that cell immortality was due to the degradation of the environment or media where cells lived. Cell immortality was based on experiments performed by Alexis Carroll in the year 1912, where Carroll reportedly was able to create a culture of chick cells that lived over 40 years, way beyond the typical years of a normal chick. However, no other scientist was able to replicate Carroll's findings. Leonard Hayflick was one of the scientists that was not able to replicate Carroll's findings and had his concerns. Some of the cultures that Hayflick created started to have slowed cell division rate after a certain number of doublings. Cell cultures could divide 40 times before they would start to slow in growth, and some eventually stopped growing altogether. Could it have been a virus? A lack of nutrients or poor culturing conditions? Something else? Hayflick wanted to eliminate these reasons and partnered with Paul Moorhead, a specialist in gendered cells, to determine what was really going on. The scientists mixed normal male human cells that had undergone cell division around 40 times with female cells that had undergone cell division 15 times. They also kept the male and female cells apart in separate cultures to grow as controls. After 20 extra doublings of cells, the mixed culture only had female cells remaining. This could only mean that unless viruses could tell the difference between male and female cells, the viruses were not the cause of lack of cell growth. And with cells still growing as normal in their cell medias, it must not have been poor culturing conditions. Hayflick's experiments have been repeated by other scientists and proved that indeed there must be some internal counting system and that human cells are in fact not immortal. Hayflick noticed that cells generally have three stages of growth when cultured. Phase 1. Cells thrive in the culture they had been placed. Phase 2. Cells would readily divide in a state described as luxuriant growth. Phase 3. Cell replication would slow and eventually reach a halt. Cells would generally not survive after they had stopped replicating. Cells generally can divide around 50 times, which we now call the Hayflick limit. So what is the cause of mortality? It was found nearly 50 years later that every time DNA replicates before a cell divides, a portion of the end of the chromosomes are lost due to the inefficiencies of DNA replication. The ends of the chromosomes in our cells are called telomeres, which does not hold any genetic information. Telomeres is a repeating set of base pairs of a considerable length that allows the cells to divide without loss of genetic information. When the telomere length gets too short, the cell stop dividing as if it was to continue, genetic code could be lost, and the cell could become cancerous. The telomeres act as an internal age counter. So to tell how old a cell is, we can look at the length of the telomeres. But this is not the end all for cells. Telomerase, an enzyme responsible for the synthesis of telomeres, can regenerate the ends of the DNA so that cells can continue to divide. But... Telomerase activity is not usually high in normal human adult cells, and thus we experience the conditions of age. Well, couldn't we turn on the telomerase enzyme in all our cells? Maybe in an ideal world? Studies have shown that cancerous cells usually display high levels of telomerase activity. So even if we were able to make use of telomerase to lengthen cell life and break past the Hayflick limit, we may not be able to lengthen our organism's life as a whole. There are many ways to pass away other than old age, including diseases that come the more we mature. 